Um, what's your favorite music video? Oh, music video? Yeah, that came from Lindell. Like of uh. I don't know if it was people? of yours or of all time, but now I'm curious for both. Like, just your favorite from <laughs> other people and your favorite. Well, from yourself. my favorite one is is the one we just did. Right, right. But uh, turn the lights out because, like I said, every video is getting better and better. So that's my favorite now. But uh, you know, Tupac, dear mama. <laughs> yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, man. I did a project on it when I was in high school, and uh, I skipped a lot. Of, I skipped a lot in high school. I I didn't graduate either. But uh, my proudest moment is uh, I got twenty five out of twenty five on my English media project. And it was Tupac, dear mama, mm-hmm. because when I was a kid, I ran away from home and I had problems with my mom. Yeah, that's like I like how I actually have a song out there. It's the mom song. It's a good one. And uh it's really deep, man. I... And uh a lot of people relate to relate to it. If you check it out, like I've had people crying. No, dude, I, I, I heard it today. Um bro, it's a it's a big one. I heard it. I feel Old, it. Though. That's why Old I was, song. But yo, it's it's really cool that Okay, so I didn't know how old it was until, like, you said how old you were, and I realized how far back those tracks were. Because, like... That's when I was 31, right? Your, yeah, your music has, like, this timelessness to it where I swear I thought that it came out, like, recently. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's funny because uh, we remade the beat that I'm doing with Maloney. Mm. And it's more, more hip hop y. So it's going to be awesome. So we got another question from Jesse. Uh, what's your favorite of all pastimes other than music? <laughs> Is he being serious? <laughs> Is he being serious? Man, I'm reading it. I'm just reading it. You can see it in the video after. You'll be like, okay, it's a legit question. Is he being serious? Well, it's not the to- same as seems his favorite pastime. I don't know what his favorite pastime is either. <laughs> no, man, just spend time with my kids. Kids, man. Yeah, the music, cool. kids, music, kids, and then kids again. <laughs> he you says know, he's dad. dead serious. That's what I am. And I'm glad you answered that. Yo, I could tell that you love your daughters, man. I could tell the passion yeah. you have for it. And I'm fucking, I believe you. I'm with you with this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you don't have any video games or anything like that that you play? No, I don't play video games. I got PlayStation 3. That's about it. Yeah, that's really cool, though. I mean, I, yeah. I, I think it's cool that you, like, I'm a bit of a sucker for a here and there video game, but, like, as time goes on, I find my, like, entertainment fading away as I pursue this whole passion thing a lot more, and I just kind of think right. it's cool that you can just live your life, like, for the things that you care about the most. Yeah, well, things are tough with, right now with COVID. And uh, the kids are out of school, and my wife's working, and I'm home with the kids, and I'm doing music. And, you know, I, I worked the last, well, we've been together for 10 years almost. Mm. I've worked my whole life. But, uh, you know, she wanted a chance to go out there and do what she wanted to do, and I wanted to do what I wanted to do. So now it just works. So, yeah, I'm, I'm at home. I'm at home. With the kids, man, every day, <laughs> and uh, it's different. <laughs> but I'm learning a lot, you know, and I'm intertwining it into my music. Into well, my that's heart. really cool. I like that. I like yeah. when you said you did a song with your daughter. I thought that was one of the coolest things anybody had actually brought up um, on my interviews. Because uh, well, she's good, you know, and she loves it. And we've been, even all my kids, man, we, we've been singing since they're able to talk. Yeah, that's so cool. You know, I got a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. And we're all singing and dancing every day. <laughs> I'm going to form like a, a girl group. <laughs> and I'm going to get rich, bitch. <laughs> that's serious, True story. 
<laughs> no, I believe you. I was like, he's not kidding. <laughs> like, no, he's I'm, like, I'm not kidding. My kids are talented. I love that. Yo, man, it's a, man, I come from the my dad told me to shut the fuck up and not sing version of it, you know? And so just to even see you encouraging it is just bless. Yeah, I have to. It's really you cool. Know, I believe in uh my kids pursuing their dream. And that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm forty two years old, I'm pursuing my dreams. It's never too late. Never. Don't let nobody tell you different. Right? Yeah. I'm going to be 80, year old, 80 years old still rapping with my kids. <laughs> Have grandkids by I'll then. do the grandpa rap. Grandpa needs a break. <laughs> Dude, there's just two grandpas that are crushing it on YouTube doing gangster rap right now, is all I'm saying. So oh, no, it's completely viable. Um, <clears throat> no, that's, that's amazing. See, so what got you to do a techno song? I love techno. You know, when I used to rave back in the day, I'd go to the after parties, I used to rap over techno. People couldn't understand it, but uh, I loved it. I love the flow. I got that fast rap, fast rap, and I rap over the techno. Wait till you hear this techno song, man. The hook's amazing. Dude, I can't wait. I can't guess wait. It's my, like, honestly, it's one of my favorite genres right now. It's the techno rap hybrid. Yeah. 